friends are often a waste of time. As we hear in nature, and my name is Manchester Scarzabo, I'm sending you loads of positive energy, abundance energy, success energy. Friends, largely, generally speaking, are a waste of time. There you are, spending time with your friends. You laughing with them, you playing with them, you going out with them, you having drinks with them, you speaking about all manner of things, you gossiping. Often they're taking you along a path that is not true to who you really are, but for the sake of the friendship, you play along. They are very opinionated about certain things. And as I said, you play along. You don't want to cause an argument. Oftentimes there are arguments. You do with your friends. You're spending time away from your work. Sometimes you're just taking a break away, a break from work, and you're spending time with them. And you say, these are your friends. But are they really friends in the true definition of what a friend should be? Are they there for you? Or are you just wasting your time with these so-called friends? Because very often, while they're spending this time, while you spend this time with them, you find that when it comes to your work, they do not support you. Zero support. Let's say you have a YouTube channel. How many of your friends are liking? How many of your friends are commenting? Hmm? How many of your friends have shared your videos on Facebook? How many of them have left a positive comment? So what is the value? What value are they providing to you? Are you just wasting time with these people? Go through your YouTube channel and see how many of these friends commented in the last week or month or ever. What really matters to you. There you are trying to build a business. There you are trying to create some form of product or whatever it is you're working on. Where are your friends? Where is the support? If you're lucky, there might be somebody doing that, commenting. Maybe you have a wonderful experience. Maybe you're part of the exception. You're the exception. And then you have this friend who is very supportive. There's one friend for me in particular who's very close to me and supports my stuff a lot. But the majority of so-called friends they do not support your work. And family often falls in that bracket. You see, a prophet, as the Bible says, is without honor, but in his own country, among his own friends and family. In other words, you may be regarded highly by people out there, people who do not know you personally. And they know your work. You're seen as a star, but among the people who are closest to you, they often treat you with contempt. It is said that familiarity breeds contempt. And that is one reason you should be careful when you're spending too much time with people. They start to treat you with contempt, with scorn, because they're seeing too much of you. You could be the biggest star, as we hear in nature. The wind is blowing. You could be the biggest star. And if people are seeing too much of you in the flesh, in person, they may try, they may start to, something just fell on my head. <laughs> they may start, they will start to treat you with contempt. They will lose respect for you. So you must play that, you must balance it. Oftentimes you have to take yourself away. Don't 
be spending too much time with certain people, with too many people, with a certain person. Spend time alone, away from them as well. Yeah, so back to the point, where's the support? If you have a business, are they buying from you? Or are they looking for a discount? Oftentimes, this is what so-called friends will do. And family as well. Very often, family falls in that bracket where you think you have family, but are they really your family? Are they really there for you when you need support? Are they going to show you that support? Let's say you write a book. You need some reviews to get your book started. Where are the reviews from your fam family? Where are the reviews from your friends and aunt? As we hear in nature, ants, everything, everything. But it's all good. It's what creates that balance. That is life. Nothing is ever so-called perfect. But what seems imperfect is really perfection. It's really perfect. Yes. So where is the support? And there you are thinking that they, they will support you because they're your friends. But no, oftentimes... They're the ones bad talking you, backstabbing you. You must be mindful of this. You must be aware of this. And don't put all your faith or all your trust in friends. Oftentimes, I'm telling you, my brother and my sister, you're alone on this journey. You have to be there for yourself because these friends are not coming to your rescue. And I'm not here to paint a picture like all friends are bad, that we should just get rid of friends totally. But I want you to remind you, I want you to be mindful. Oftentimes, let's say you're a creator. There are your friends, your family, they're sharing videos, right? You're getting them on social media, WhatsApp, videos, other people's videos. How about y'all? videos. When last did they share your videos? They're sharing videos of people who are already successful. That's fine. But how about my video? My video means nothing to you. But I'm the one. I'm the one who could help you in a situation. Let's say you need something. You need to borrow some money. You need some work done on your car or whatever it is. You need, you need me to, to pick up something at the store for you quickly. Things that friends do. I'm the one who could do that for you, not some celebrity who you've never met. I'm the one who could be a shoulder to, to lean on for you, not some celebrity. And it's fine to... to, to to have your celebrities, your, to, to, to love your celebrities. But I'm just saying, we're creating balance here. How about the person you call a friend? You've never shared their videos, but you're sharing videos of the big YouTubers. And this is not hate in any way. Big respect to the big YouTubers, whether it be PewDiePie and Mr. Beast. You're talking about these people. But how about your brother? How about your sister, how about the person you call your friend? And I'm telling you, support is largely a myth. This thing where you think somebody's gonna support you, people are gonna support you, no. People will share what they like. And oftentimes they're so used to you that they don't necessarily like your work. Because familiarity, familiarity breeds contempt. People will share what they like and don't think that anybody will support you. And that is why a lot of people quit on YouTube. They think that, oh, they will start this channel and then all their friends will just support them. People share their videos, but no, sometimes these people are embarrassed. They are embarrassed because they see all your, your little faults. Or sometimes you're too much like them. They're seeing an aspect of themselves that they don't like in you. Or they think that your work is substandard. Whereas the rest of the world thinks that it's amazing. So they won't share your work. They're, they're often too embarrassed, especially when you're just starting out. They're too embarrassed 
to associate with you. Imagine that your own friends, your own family, the people who are close to you, they're too embarrassed. And they won't share your work. They don't even want to be associated to you. <laughs> it's crazy. But the rest of the world, the rest of the world often doesn't look at all these little faults. Because I'll tell you something about content. You think content has to be perfect? That is why I advise people to post content. And my, one of my mentors, Gary Vaynerchuk, says, post everything you make. Post your content. Because there's nothing perfect. When you're having a conversation with somebody, is it perfect? Is it edited? My video right now is not going to be edited. Is it edited? No. You're just having a conversation and whatever goes out there, whatever you say to them, it's said. It's just that it's not recorded. Yes, so this is what I'm saying. So that's why, yes, post your content. Do what you have to do. Because people are going to criticize anyway. And what the people close to you may not like, the people who are not close to you will cherish the embrace. Because people love stuff that is not perfect as well. Maybe you're creating videos and it's, people will just laugh at you. <laughs> Hey, come and see this guy. This guy always talks about this thing. Or this, this girl or this woman, she always talks about this. Come see this video. And they're making fun. Don't take yourself so seriously that you're afraid to be laughed at. If you're creating content, don't be afraid to be laughed at. It's all part of it. But you're creating content anyway. Be, become immune to criticism. We're talking about friends. We're talking about friendship. And very often, you're just wasting time with friends. Oftentimes, you're speaking to these friends and they're, they're taking you away from your path, the path that you want to go down. Peer pressure, they're making you th do things that you don't really want to do because you're trying to fit in. And you're wasting time with them, but they're not showing you any form of tangible support where it really matters as i said when last did they share your video when last did they send a, a kind word you see them commenting under other people's posts when last did they comment under yours in a way especially especially if it is something productive oftentimes you find that friends are commenting under the jokey stuff on social media, the fun stuff, but nothing where not your work per se. You need friends that will encourage you when it comes to your work, especially if you're in the content production business, you're producing content. That is the kind of friends you need. And if you're a friend watching this and you have not showed support to your friend, if you're somebody's friend watching this, who have not showed, shown support to your friend, this is a wake up call. Don't just be laughing with them every day. Every time you'll meet, ha ha ha, you're laughing, you're talking about all sorts of topics, and then you're not sharing their work. You're not commenting, you're not watching the videos. YouTube, what is important on YouTube right now is watch time. Give them some watch time. That is your friend. Comment under the videos. You're commenting on the people's videos. You're commenting on the people's posts. You have not done that with your friends. I'm telling you. Very often you will find that your channel, your friends are not spending much time there. They don't even know what you're doing and they're your friend, right? They don't even know much about your work. They didn't even Google you. They have not even Googled you per se to see what you're about. Wow, that's what friendship is. It just reinforces in my mind how much you largely by yourself on your journey. Nobody really cares per se. Nobody really cares. I've seen people's friends die and 
their friends died and no, no big deal, yeah, they may feel sorry for a while and then life goes on, nobody really cares. That is why when it comes to your work, you have to do work you love and not necessarily look for, look for validation from friends or look for validation from the people close to you. A lot of people think that, oh, one day when I make it, then all these friends will be checking for me. That may not necessarily happen. Nobody's really coming to check for you. Don't, don't be always like you're in need of this validation. You're in need of people to say, yes, you're it. Be independent of that. So you're doing work you love, whether people love it or not. You're just putting yourself out there like I'm doing here with this content. I'm just making my video, baby. I'm just making my video and I'm putting it out there on YouTube. Who likes it? Fine. Great. I appreciate you. Who doesn't like it? Fine. I still appreciate you. I would love to read the feedback. Are you digging this or not? Fine. It doesn't matter. I'm sharing stuff that's coming from, from deep within, from source, from the element, the true element of who I am. I'm sharing me with the planet. And not everybody will agree, and it doesn't matter. A lot will agree. Some points I make here may lead you to think about something else. You may think about, oh wow, something that happened in my life and then you will find value. I just want you to find value. I just want you to find value <laughs> to benefit. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, do you. Do work that is based on your passion. See, a lot of people quit on YouTube. Why? They're doing something, sometimes for the money. It's all about the money for them. And a lot of the time, they want to be accepted by friends, by the people around them. Oh, wow. They think, oh, wow, she's, she's become a, a superstar. Oh, wow, he's become a superstar. But very often that, does, that won't happen. As it's starting to rain, I mean, nature, I'm going to continue the video. The rain is all good. As they say, showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. And very often, you will find that people who have never met you, there are people who have never met. There's this young lady called Trimatize. I'll mention her name. I've never met her. And she's always leaving feedback on my videos. She's always doing that. I'm indebted to her. She's always doing that. I've never even met her. Apparently, she finds value in these videos. I'd like to send a shout out to her. I'd like to send a shout out to Nicole as well, who always supports me. And I'm not, I'm doing this video, don't think like I'm begging for people like I care. No. Who's gonna like the video will like it. Who's gonna comment will comment. Who's gonna find value will find value as it's raining down on me. And I'm sending you showers of blessing. And I think by now you get the point. Be very careful when it comes to friends. That is why it's important. Solitude is important. Spending time alone. Because when you're alone, as I'm here in nature, you become more creative. You have nobody like friends messing with your energy. You could put out who you really are. Who you really are. Nikola Tesla said that you should spend time alone. Being alone is the secret to invention. That is what the great inventor Nikola Tesla said. And that is very important. Being alone and don't bother too much about friends and family. A lot of us are just wasting time with friends as the rain is coming down. We're just wasting time time that we could devote to our work. I just thought I'd share this with you on this beautiful morning. I'm sending you loads of positive energy, abundance energy, success energy. Hope that you found some value in this video. My name is Manchester Scalzabor. This is the Manchester Way YouTube channel. 
leave a comment, share the video. Thank you very much and all the best.